This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh. So question three is all about writing a function to evaluate a function involving x and y. And you can see that the function involving x and y is different depending on whether x or y are greater or less than zero. So we're going to use an if, else, if, else statement to handle these different cases. So I've created a new M file and done my function definition and made some comments at the top of the file. And if you have a look at the function definition, you can see that the output is a variable called result. The function name is called function underscore x, y. And the input variables are x and y. So our first condition is that if x is greater than or equal to zero and y is greater than or equal to zero, the function should return the result x plus y. So our if statement says if x is greater than or equal to zero, and then we use the and sign, y is greater than or equal to zero, then our result should simply be x plus y. We now use an else if for the next condition. And the next one is if x is greater than or equal to zero and y is less than zero. Then our result is x plus y squared. And again, using another else if statement, this time if x is less than zero and y is less than or equal to zero, our result should be x squared plus y. And finally, our last case, we don't need to check x and y because if it's none of the above cases, it must be the last one. And if that's true, then the result should be x squared plus y squared. And of course, we close it with an end. So now you can go ahead and test your function and just try it with different cases for x and y and see if the result is as you would expect. So the last question in exercise 7 is question 4 and that's all about writing a function to calculate the energy loss for fluid flow in a pipe. And you're told that there are five different input arguments to this function. The pipe diameter, pipe length, fluid volumetric flow rate, fluid density, and fluid viscosity. So the first thing we'll do is our function definition line and then our variable dictionary. So we've defined our output and our various inputs to the function, but we're also going to need some local variables to store things like the average fluid viscosity, a cross-sectional area of the pipe, Reynolds number, and the friction factor. So we'll go ahead and define them in our variable dictionary. And remember, when we talk about local variables, 
we mean that those variables only exist within the function itself. So you'll notice when we run this function, those variables don't appear in the workspace, so they can't be accessed by other functions and scripts in MATLAB. So before we can calculate the energy loss, we first of all need to calculate the cross-sectional area, the average fluid velocity, and Reynolds number. Our area is simply pi d squared on 4, and our average velocity is the volumetric flow rate divided by the area. So now that we've determined those quantities, before we can calculate the energy loss, we need to calculate the friction factor. And the friction factor varies depending on the value of the Reynolds number. So we need to use an if statement to handle both those cases. So the first case is if the Reynolds number is less than or equal to 2000. And if that's true, then the friction factor F is simply 64 divided by the value of the Reynolds number. And if that's not true, then you can see that the friction factor is determined by an expression involving the natural logarithm. So we'll enter that now. And that ends our if statement. And now that we know the friction factor, we can go and calculate the energy loss. So now we can save and test the function. And you're given some values in the question to test your function with. So we'll use those. Now you can define them and assign them to variables in the workspace before running your function, or as we're going to do here, we can just enter the numerical values as direct inputs to the function. And you can see that that returns the answer that we were expecting. This production is copyright, the University of Edinburgh.